Okay, as you guys may know, Canadian truckers and Canadians are standing up for their rights, their God-given liberty, okay? So today, in Parliament, rightfully so, this Jewish conservative stood up and asked Justin Trudeau, when are you going to give us our rights back? When are you going to give us our liberties back? When will you make it so we don't have to take the vaccine to go anywhere, where we don't have to wear masks? And Justin Trudeau really had the audacity to tell a Jewish conservative, keep in mind, you could stand with people that wave swastikas. How does he have the audacity to say this? He always talks about how we need to be politically correct and everything. But then he tells a Jewish person that they are supporting Hitler or they're supporting people waving swastikas. Like, what the heck is this? And that would even be the complete opposite. The people that are protesting these mandates are anti-authoritarian and would definitely not support Nazi Germany. That doesn't even make sense. But as you know, they're just gonna lie and they're gonna say these kind of things to gain political points. But I'll roll the film so you guys could take a look. If Canadians are to trust their government, their government needs to trust Canadians. Those are the words of the Prime Minister in 2015. These people, very often misogynistic, racist, women haters, science deniers, the fringe. Same Prime Minister six years later as he fans the flames of an unjustified national emergency. So, Mr. Speaker, when did the Prime Minister lose his way? When did it happen? Mr. Speaker. Conservative Party members can stand with people who wave swastikas. They can stand with people who wave uh, the Confederate flag. We will choose to stand with Canadians who deserve to be able to get to their jobs, who be able to get their lives back. Trudeau is afraid of the people. He's afraid that we are standing up for our rights for once. Why do you think that he is calling a Jewish person and saying that they support people waving swastikas? Why do you think... They're arresting protesters that are standing up for their God-given freedom. It's because he's scared. It's because he sees that he might not have power in the future. And that people just don't like him. That he's a tyrannical person. And that he doesn't like rights. He doesn't support freedom. For example, he literally said in an interview before. Maybe it wasn't an interview. He said somewhere, though, that he supports China's simple dictatorship. And I'm going to make another video on that because that's a whole nother issue. And even though I'm American, I think that we should cover this because he's a great example for how all real leaders are acting. Even Brandon, okay, which is also known as Biden, they're all trying to take away our rights and they're trying to take away our freedoms. But we need to stand up and fight against them because if we don't, they're going to try to take them all away. That's what I'm saying. We need to go and vote in the midterms in 2022 in America. Canada, you need to vote, vote out trust Justin Trudeau. I don't know if you could impeach him there, but you need to try because he is taking away your freedoms. Same in America. Biden is taking away our freedoms and we are doing nothing about it. So we need to stand up and fight, okay? Or else all of our freedoms will eventually go away. They do it slowly, but surely. So I need you guys to do that. And if you guys want to like and subscribe, since the YouTube algorithm suppresses conservative voices, please do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.